everyone, welcome to Medication Monday. This is where we go over a different EMT drug that we administer out in the field. We do it specifically in EMT drug card format. As always, follow your local protocol and scope of practice. Enjoy. Today's medication is called phenylephrine nasal spray, and phenylephrine nasal spray is more commonly referred to in the EMS field as neosinephrine. It is a nasal vasoconstrictor and also an alpha agonist. So how does it work in the body? Neosinephrine primarily is a direct acting sympathomimetic amine, and it stimulates your alpha adrenergic receptors. In the EMS field specifically, we give it to reduce bleeding during nasal intubation. As always, before we touch on dosages, please abide by your local protocol and stay within your scope of practice. Your dose is typically going to be two sprays per nair, one to two minutes prior to nasal intubation. So this just gives it enough time to kind of kick in and let all the vasoconstriction happen. Your contraindications are going to be VTAC, which is also known as ventricular tachycardia, hypertension, and thyroid disease. Some adverse reactions after giving neosinephrine is sneezing, nasal tingling, nasal stinging, burning, or discharge. Your drug interactions are the effectiveness of insulin or other oral hypoglycemic agents could be decreased, so just be aware of this. And also, when used with an MAOI, it can cause hypertension. Beta blockers may also cause hypertension that could be followed by reflex bradycardia, so just be aware of this. Okay, a few side notes about neosinephrine before we wrap up. Just be cautious with your geriatric patients and your patients with severe heart issues like severe arteriosclerosis, bradycardia, heart blocks, and patients that are pregnant or lactating. This is really important in these situations. I mean, we do know what the mechanism of action of neosinephrine is. It's a vasoconstrictor, and just to be aware of the patient's medical history prior to administration. Also, don't use the same spray on different patients. And I know this is kind of weird and maybe a shocker to some people because they've used the spray and maybe put the spray back in their, their med bag. But just know that if the patient has some kind of infection um, in their nose or in all the mucus and stuff in their nose, it can definitely be spread to the next patient that this spray is used on. So once it's open, a good rule of thumb is once it's been used on a patient, throw it away and get a new bottle. Also, it is not recommended in young children. As always, guys, remember to abide by your local protocol and always stay within your scope of practice. This video is purely informational for those in the EMS field and never meant to be used in the place of professional medical advice, local protocol, or formal education. So it's been kind of a short video today. I will see you next Monday. Bye!